Designed by Corey Simmons. Copyright 2018 Blackwood Spectre LLC. All right. Hey guys, my name is Samstein. Welcome to They That Feast. It's a little horror game I downloaded on Itch.io. Yeah, it's not Game Jolt today. This isn't a Game Jolt. It's been two days since I've had contact with Lorenzo. I'm going to head back up the river and see if I can find him. I didn't finish the research I'd planned. But I'll have to wait. I've been seeing fewer people every day, and I'm afraid if I don't turn back now, I'll get lost. Hopefully, I can find Lorenzo by nightfall. Loading. Probably nightfall. Meaning, no. No, I could not find Lorenzo. God, I hate... I just don't like the name Lorenzo, because my boss in my old job was named Lorenzo, and he was a real prick. And I can say that, because I don't work there anymore. Prick. How long has it got to load? How long does it have to load? What is going on, man? Okay, that's kind of cool. Find Lorenzo. Uh, how do I move? Do I just jump out of the... Something tells me this is the wrong choice. Why is my brain in the corner there? Something tells me I'm supposed to bring the boat with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and go try and grab it. Here we go. And oh god, oh god, I hate this. All right, just let me back in, pretty please. I might die. Let me in the boat. I'm gonna have to start over. Figured it out. I'll stop up in here real quick. What are you? There's a hastily scrawled notes. You have to get out now. They're here, but you can't see them. We're leaving. Meet us. Oh. What? No, no, I already read that. Got it. Oh, that looks like blued. There's a shiny thing. Looks like someone was getting ready to leave, but the boat's still here. They didn't make it. Hoping to find some gas. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. This is in the Amazon. Um... Uh, at least that's what it said on the game description when I downloaded it. that noise I don't think I like that sounds like the creature from the black lagoon all right let's 
let's see what's in here. There's a journal. The inside says Robert Miller. Uh, uh, the last latest entry read. Just got back from my trip yesterday. Talk with more of the villagers, but something's different. Last time I was here, they were jovial. Lewis even brought some of that. And we had a good time. Today it's a completely different place. Most people won't even talk to me now. But for the ones that do, all they talk about is some stone they found in the jungle. They say it lets them speak to their gods. It's They seem defended when I ask them about that. I don't understand the superstitions here, even after all this time. Me neither. <clears throat> Newspaper from last week. Headline is something about a man from a nearby village who went mad and killed his sister in her sleep. What am I playing right now? Something's driving people insane here. Stop it! What? My sister just texted me. Happy birthday, ya big nose. Because I'm recording a couple, a bunch of one shots on my birthday before Michaela gets home for work. Before we start, like, celebrating and stuff. <clears throat> so, that happened. I can't tell you what my brother texted me because it's a slur. Twenty three years old today. I'm getting old. I'm halfway to forty six. Anytime I start thinking of that, I always think, well, my dad's halfway to a hundred and six. So there's that. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's something blue inside that house. So far, this has got a really cool ambiance, but not there's something in that hut. No, I'm going in this one first. Part of the note is missing. Impossible to discern. Uh, what I now know is that they've always been and always will be. The stone showed us that. Mr. Lorenzo came to call it, showed us... Whoa. We'll look for our gods and found only madness. Lorenzo's the bad guy. Largely unintelligible. At the bottom of the passage, though, there's a crude drawing of what appears to be some sort of giant leech. Okay, then. Is this a stone I'm hearing about? A small, strange rock laying on the floor. Hold on. I almost feel like I'm being watched. I'll... Take it with me. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, oh! Uh, okay, so I saw one of the monsties. Who's texting me now? Yes? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. <coughs> Itchy ear. Gas learn. Boy, am I glad I stopped here. <laughs> My brain is still full. 
All it says right where my head is at. Objectives, find Lorenzo. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> on one hand, this is a scary game, and on the other hand, it's kind of relaxing. Sort of curious as to what's going on, and I would also like a better look at the monster. I've always liked monsters. Just sort of... Insight about me. Feels like I'm turning around. Hmm. The game runs less good when I use that, so I'm going to use it sparingly. Excuse me while I turn my headphones down just a bit. Everyone okay? My brain juice is coming back slowly. I would like that to be all the way up before I do anything else. Close enough. Who needs to be completely sane? Oh, there's some buildings over here. Okay, I'm in. Get. Stop. It. Nothing in that one. Hope to find some more gasoline. Maybe. Okay, there you go. Maybe, yeah, some more story things. <clears throat> A third page from Lorenzo's notes. Something is very wrong. I've been hearing noises behind me for a few hours now. I crossed the river a ways back and it seems to have bought me some time. But I need to find the plane. <sighs> you pray my colleagues get there soon too. Or I may have to take off without them. Please forgive me. Oh. Well, um, thanks, Lorenzo. If your name is Lorenzo, that's fine and dandy out there. You're probably a great person, but I've never met a nice Lorenzo. This must be Lorenzo's notes. Left our research group yesterday with one of the guides. I want to head home soon, so I agreed to head back to the plane early and get ready to go. Everyone else will run and be with me shortly after. My guide Antonio says we should reach the plane by nightfall. Antonio's lying. Another. It's all gone to hell. The village. All the villagers Antonio and I passed were empty. He seemed unnerved by it. it. Must have gotten to him because we ended up getting lost down one of the creeks and had to set up camp in the jungle overnight. That bothered me well enough, but the worst happened early this morning, maybe 3 or 4 a.m. I awoke in a bit of a daze and I heard something. I glanced at Antonio and he was sitting straight up in his sleeping bag talking to himself. I asked him what he was doing, but he simply stopped talking. Before I could uh, even rouse myself... Antonio jumped up, bolted right out of the tent. I still haven't found him. That's alarming. We should go now. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there's stuff over here. So that's good. Was that just it? Damn. What a way. I think that was Lorenzo. He's dead. I know I'm dead. Alright. Well, that was cool. There might be more to it, but I don't really know. Probably not. There's nowhere else to go. It was like... That was the end of it. I think. Anyway, be sure to check in for the next one. I want to see you there.